month. And here to tell us how Arizona cows are cared for in order to keep them happy and healthy is local dairy farmer Wes Kerr with Kerr Family Dairy. Good morning. Always great to see you. Yes, good morning. So let's talk about these dairy cows. What do they eat and how does that play a role in their milk? Well, that's a great question. So cows are really cool for their ability to convert feed and other crops into nutrients that we can consume ourselves. So we actually have a nutritionist who uh, puts together these ingredients that you can see up on the screen now and all of those get converted into protein, fat, and other good things that we can consume in dairy products. What's really cool is a lot of people don't realize is that dairy cows actually um, repurpose and recycle byproducts. So in that photo, there were two ingredients that were a byproduct. One was almond hulls, which come from, of course, almond production in, yes. in California. And the other one is soy hull pellets. And so those products would actually end up going to waste if it wasn't for dairy cows that can repurpose them and make them into something nutritious for us to use. Now, if a cow does become sick, what yeah. happens to it and how do you ensure its health? Yeah, well, great question. So first of all, we really manage our cows to prevent sickness overall. So we have a nutritionist who formulates this ration for the cows to make sure that all of their needs are being met at, um, at all times. And we have a vet check every two weeks. Actually, this morning, our veterinarian came out at 5 a.m. and we checked all of the cows to make sure they were all healthy and happy. But if we do have a cow that gets sick or a cow that needs to actually be on antibiotics, that cow will be isolated from the herd. She'll be moved to our hospital pen. She will uh, get her course of antibiotics. And once those antibiotics have left her system, then she can resume uh, milking as normal and go back into the herd. But all of that milk at the time when she's on antibiotics is dumped. It cannot be used for human consumption. And what people don't realize is that every load of milk is tested to make sure that it is clean and free of antibiotics. So every milk truck that you see going down the road right next to that milk truck driver is an igloo ice chest of the samples of the milk that he takes on farm. And once he gets to the plant, he has to take those samples to the laboratory. The lab tests the milk to make sure it's clean and then it's offloaded on the, onto the plant to be able to be processed and to all the products that we love. That's so interesting. So there's never any antibiotics in the milk that comes from your dairy farm or any farm. Let's talk about comfort and cleanliness. How do you keep these cows help, happy and, yes. and love and life? Yes, absolutely. So of course, you know, we're in the in summer is uh, starting and so the heat is on. But you know what we do for our cows is we have fans and misters that help cool them. And it's a really cool high tech system that um, right there actually, we're looking at. yes, absolutely right there. It's controlled by a computer. The computer um, monitors the temperature temperature and the humidity and it'll adjust the the flow of water that come out of the misters automatically so it keeps the cows very comfortable um, no matter how warm it gets outside and going out, roughly how many cows do you have at yeah, your dairy farm? Right now we're milking about 1,100 cows. Wow. We have about three times a day. When I came out to your farm, it's so interesting. You learn so much. And where can people learn more information about Arizona the, dairy farms? Uh, ArizonaMilk.org, yep. All right, Wes, thank you so much for making the trek back here. You're yes. so used to seeing you out at the farm. That's so right. Thank you so much. Really interesting. And if you want to learn more information, you can visit their website. You see it right there, ArizonaMilk.org.